All right, does she look familiar? She should, because Fibbly just did a review on her. So, you know, I wanted to do a review too, and I know we're gonna give this away to somebody, then that way, you know, it was ran by Phil Billy one way, it was ran by Big Easy another way. So I want to do my own little review on this Weber setup. So thank you, Weber, for sending this over. Man, we really appreciate it. And let's dive into this. So you see you got your five gallon pot here. Uh, it's your arm, comes out of it. And this little guy here, this is, has two functions. It could either be a slobber box. And if you don't know what a slobber box is, a slobber box is in case you run it a little too hard and it pukes into it, it catches all that slobber mess that you puked into it and it doesn't transfer into your worm. So it's really cool to have a slobber box when you're first learning how to shine because you know we all make the mistakes early of running too hot. So let's see what's inside here. See, we got a bubbler. We got our tubes for our worm. And they got the valve. I'm, I saw Phil will explain that uh, if you put this piece on here, this is no longer a slobber box. It becomes a thumper because now your vapor's traveling down and it's able to recondense. So that's real cool, you know, dual feature. Um, all right. See these come with four little rubber or silicone gaskets. And so these gaskets go up inside here to prevent it from leaking, which, you know, these things might leak. And if they do, then just wrap some Teflon tape around them later. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do before I put this thing together is I'm gonna hit up all my joints with Teflon tape. You don't want no vapor getting out of this, so. We just gonna Teflon tape these up. Real important that you tape these before you run this. You don't want any vapor getting out, especially if you're gonna be running on a flame like I'm gonna be. Run on a stove, you know, you can get by with it. I mean, you don't want to lose alcohol, but no matter what, but make sure you Teflon tape these fittings. Which you won't have to, because I already did. If you win this bad dude. What a cool little still for 90 bucks, man. I know when I first started, if I'd have seen something like this, and I was wanting to learn, Man, I'd have jumped all over this thing. All right, now we got all of our ends. Teflon tape so it won't leak. Let's go on ahead and hook up our pipes. Remember, we got these four gaskets in here, so they're gonna go up inside. So when you're hooking this up, you want to make sure you go into your thumper piece. You don't want to reverse it. So you could set it up like this to where it's all one unit on top of each other. And that'll work great. Or you could take it and set it up so that it's on the counter. Now I would think, well, I know that you take this worm and you set it on the counter, it's gonna be, it's gonna work more efficiently as keeping it cool as opposed to having it all up top here. But we're gonna run it the way it came. Make sure you're good and tight. Don't want her to leak. leaking you can always tighten them a little more later on and if they're still leaking after you tighten them then we just wrap some teflon tape around them but if you get them good and tight you know the way they manufacture these this shouldn't leak got the 
water hoses that are in and are out. And she come with a pump too. So yeah, she came with a pump. So there you have it, man. It comes with everything you need. All you gotta do is have a match. Man, what a cool little setup for 90 bucks, man. I would definitely buy one of these if I was a beginner. I was early on learning how to shine. So we'll just bend all this and get it all to sit nice and tight. So I've got some leftover peach mash and I got some leftover banana mash. I'm gonna fill this thing about, about three quarters of the way full, make some uh, peach banana brandy. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna run this on a turkey burner. I know Phil they ran it on a stove, so you can see the versatility. You can run it on gas, you can run it on the stove. Um, you can run it on anything really. So let's get it on the burner. Let's get her loaded up, get it fired up. We got our banana peach brandy in here. And I just used stuff I had left over. So now we're gonna get our turkey burner fired up. Set our beverage on here. All right, let's get the top on. So if you got a five gallon bucket, you can use a five gallon bucket for a water vessel like Phil really did. I got this barrel here, so. I already left it all together, you know, because it's lazy. Make sure she gets clamped down good. It's gonna make some good brandy. So you have it. She's heating up. Now I'm gonna take some um, leftover peach stuff I have, peach wine I had, and prime the thump keg with it. Actually, I'm gonna prime the thump keg with some mead. This is definitely a wild fruit punch mix of everything I got left over. So I'm just gonna give a little bit to bounce off of. I don't need nothing real major in the thump keg. It's gonna take yeah, that's enough to cover the bottom. That's good. And if you run this thing too hot, man, it will puke. Um, that's one of the things about such a small opening coming out of the top. So you know, just like when he's still, be patient. So we got all these taped up, these joints. Uh, they shouldn't leak. We got rubber gaskets in there. And, but if they do, then we'll just wrap them with some Teflon tape. And with that pump, man, if you don't slow it down, you can slow it down to really maintain your flow and so you don't use up a whole lot of water. And so at the beginning, I'm just gonna fill it up. See, if you wait too long, man, it could overflow. So we're gonna really gear her down. And actually, now she's at full. We're gonna shut that off. We're gonna unplug the pump. And we're just gonna let it sit until we reach our thumper. Then when we reach our thumper, we'll plug it back in. So now I'm gonna set up the catch. And we're collecting our heads. You see, I put a little piece of copper on the end just to move it out a little bit. So we've got our water circulating. You can hear the hot water running out in the background. So I would say we're about done with our heads. We got about four gallons of mash in here. So we're gonna collect about 200 to 250 milliliters of heads. And I'll put this right there. We'll collect a little bit more. I didn't clean this thing out after Phil really ran it. I didn't waste the time. I just figured I'd collect a little more heads. And I'll just throw them in my fire pit fuel. So I'm probably gonna collect half gallon. 
three quarters of a gallon out of this. Some good hot, good liquor, you know. Check it all over, we don't have any leaks or anything. And I got it turned down as far as it'll go, so. There's our heads. See, good and clear. No, oh, that's some high proof right there. So now I'm just gonna collect hearts, man. I'm gonna let this run. As you can see, we're not steaming. We don't have any leaks, man. This thing's gonna run great. He's got a, you really gotta force that water through in this thing because that worm's so small and it's sitting on top, man. But this is a great starter still. Pull you about half to a gallon of each time of a run. That's perfect for a normal drinker. Maybe not my buddy old son, but for a normal drinker, so. All right, we're coming up on the end of our run now. Uh, we collected three solid quarts of hearts. Now we're just getting a little tails here at the end. So, you know, all in all, man, you know, um, there are some things I would change, but for 90 bucks, dude, this is an amazing little still, especially a starter still to learn on. So, you want something quick and easy? Uh, this is it. We didn't have any leaks. Them silicone gaskets and um, taping up those fittings worked really well. And, you know, for... I'm really surprised at how good it turned out. But that's all she is, man. That's a $90 five gallon beverage still set up with the thumper slash slobber box. A little worm, comes with everything you need. Now it's my favorite part, time to taste. All right, that's it for our run on our $90 beverage still. And you know, I come out with three quarts of some really good, really good shine here. Um, I got a quart of about 140. 120 and 100 got my heads. I stopped at the tails. You can see it started clouding up So, you know three quarters of a gallon out of four gallons of mash man. That's not a bad yield Now let's uh, let's get the favorite part going on. Let's smell it. Taste this Oh, that smells really good, man It's a little high proof That's got good flavor too. That's good brandy, man. You can pull some, make some really good liquor out of this little guy. So you just starting out, you want to learn. Good thing to learn on, and then after you're done, you got you a nice ass sketty pot. So thanks, Bever. I really enjoyed doing this review for y'all. Um, I look forward to reviewing some other stuff. So thanks for watching. You got any questions? Let us know. If you want one of these ninety dollar Bevers, click on the link in the description. Use the Phil Billy code that's also there and get you one and then let us know how, how it comes and then be on the lookout for an upgrade for this thing. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So thanks for watching. Thanks a lot, Bever. Shine on.